you heard the prediction from Jim Courier and Andre Agassi. They've got work to do before they make that final happen. As we roll through our first semifinal here at TD Garden, it'll be Michael Chang and Jim Courier, two longtime American rivals, doing battle once again. And these are the current Champion Series point standings. Sampras Chang lead the way. Courier Agassi predicting that they're going to make a little comeback here this week in Boston. So we'll see if Michael Chang can do some damage, maybe overtake the pistol en route to the number one spot in the rankings. Remember, there's a million dollar prize bonus pool at the end of the year for the top three men in the standings. So a lot at stake as you get a look at Jim Courier. He's sub 500 so far this year, yet to win a title. He'd like to change that. That is unlike Courier. He's normally dominant in this championship series. He's got 79 career match wins. That's the most in Champion Series history. It'll be Courier and Chang to start us off in Boston right after this. That's set to go in our first semifinal. We'll play one one-set semifinal between these two guys, another one-set semifinal, Agassi and Lendl, and then an eight-game pro-set championship match to decide our winner. Courier pumped up today is first point in good serve and an animated fist pump I like that I think he's being sarcastic he doesn't like it that much what is My Michael's dancing we've seen a very animated Michael Chang on this tour it's serving him awfully well he's playing well so far that's one title already the title at the second event on tour, beating Jim Courier in Washington 8-3 in the pro set there. They met again at our last event in Minneapolis, Jim winning that one 6-4 in a semi. Great pattern for Michael Chang. Trying oh. Courier early on is getting a lot of close calls his way. There was one earlier at the baseline. That serve as well. charge from Michael he flicked that backhand overhead kind of framed it strange reply from Jim yeah. forehand into the open court all 12 stops along the tour thank you for the great job you guys are doing Michael Chang serving for the first time Cat. On this champions tour. Waterdale to DC. The guys left Michael in the restroom at the terminal when they took off down the Dulles Toll Road and had to circle back to pick him up. So, you know, if Michael has airplane bitterness, he can take it out on Jim right here. Took it out on him in that game. Another great service game from Shane. I don't think Jim has not had a lot of on this tour so far as free points off the serve. Help him today if he can do that. In the last 
pitcher of four years. He, uh, he got a little busy with the knife and fork. Back in uh, match shape. We'll see him tonight. Still has a big game. How about the reflexes from two guys who, who didn't volley a ton back in the day? Racket, it was mine. He hit two balls in a row in the net and broke my wood racket. So, you know, Lendl might have had a chance. Nah, he didn't. off the serve, starting to collect them now. I don't think he has. No. Still a fitness fiend. service this tour you know you go out on an ATP World Tour event you may not know everybody's name but on this tour you certainly do Michael Chang and Jim Courier in our first semi you only have to know four names so it's not well eight across the whole tour that's true pretty much household tennis names Got a nice little combination of high looper first to the backhand of Courier. He's getting a short ball and then jumping on that short ball. He's out currying, couriering Courier, sort of. I'll tell you what, that first half volley was a heck of a pickoff. It was. recently married to the, the beautiful Susanna would like to uh, fulfill his obligations, pardon the expression. First a couple of tournaments ago, I was impressed with Chang's new serve. Now all of a sudden I'm impressed with Chang's forehand. He's crushing his forehand today. Wonder if Jim's airplane prediction is in danger. particular moment it looks like it is remember this is just a one set match so pressure now starting to build towards the end any little slip up now and it'll probably cost you the set well not the tweener but the forehand side that of the one's racket. harder yeah. actually I, the tweener's not that as difficult as it looks but I have trouble with that one beside my body, and obviously so does Shang. <laughs> was not a 10 out of 10 drop shot for sure, but Chang didn't do much with it when he got there. Didn't read it in time, so it got a little lower below the level of the net, and that allowed Courier to have this final winning volley. An animated Jim Courier tonight. He does want this win. championseries.com pick up your own tour merchandise Good 
two of the last three guys from this country to win the French Open. I wonder if we'll ever have two Americans who've won the French modern day on the court together. Yeah, it's hard to believe it'll be anyone that we know of right now. It's going to have to most likely be some new youngster practicing five, six hours a day right now. Patrick McEnroe has been sending a lot of the young juniors over to Spain to train with some of the Spanish coaches to get them accustomed to that European style. It's amazing what going to Spain seems to do for everyone. Andy Murray went there. Marat Safin went there. A lot of different players from different countries seem to really improve when they get to Spain. Hard to argue with the success they've had over the last decade and a half. They'll be in the Davis Cup final in December against Argentina. Absolutely dismantled the French in Cordoba in the semis. Again, serving volley from Chang, but the lob way too easy. Not even having to move Michael Chang. He's got a game point. As I said, one set match, any little slip up, and it can cost you the set. All of a sudden, for the first time, Chang under a little bit of pressure on his own serve. No, Tosh, you just missed the Chastising himself for not hitting another lob and making Michael hit another overhead. So I think Michael would have been up for this next overhead. It's can't really count on the pro missing an overhead play. Got lucky there. I thought he might have hit an out ball earlier in that uh, round. I think he definitely hit an out ball earlier but he got away with it somehow. Chang was able to run down a lot of shots, but not do enough with any of them. And now you got to go back to that overhead that he put in the net, which was game point for Chang. Got to go back to the overhead. You also got to question that last shot from Chang. He's got one of the best topspin lobs I've ever seen, and Courier had his nose hanging over the net. He tried to get it around him. It didn't work. Suddenly a second serve at break point. Doubles away the break does Michael Chang. So a uh, very sudden turn of events. Jim Courier now up 5-3 will serve for this one set match. right now Jim Courier two points from this match again his best forehands always tend to be even if, as you see him jumping backwards away from that ball he's still able to get power he loves to run around his backhand and hit forehands from that corner of the court it's funny how a one set match can get away from me in a hurry. Chang, I thought, was probably playing better than Courier through the first six games, but he couldn't secure a break. One poor overhead, and all of a sudden, it's triple set point, match point for Courier. And that flies long, and the airplane prediction does come true. A loose moment from Chang two games ago.